tabs versus spaces, brackets on single line ifs, removing those unused and sorting those using statements and much, much more is all stuff that we find so important, but I don't want to think about it. And now you don't have to think about it any longer. It can be automated and you can do that with a tool that's called .NET Format. Let's go check it out. So let's first quickly look at the repository for the .NET Format tool. .NET Format is a tool that allows you to format your code, uh, your C# -sharp code uh, through this tool uh, by the .editor config. If you don't know what the .editor config file is, uh, that is a file that describes what your code should look like. So how the formatting should be. Should you use tabs or spaces? Should you use those brackets for single line ifs or not? And very, very much more. It's a very uh, versatile file that you can do a lot with very powerful um, and it will take these settings and it will apply them to the code you pointed at uh, and you can do that with this tool so that is is very cool this tool is a dotnet global tool so if you don't know about global tools go check it out uh, it basically allows you to download a plugin for your dotnet runtime and you can uh, run that globally throughout um, so here's the repository at uh, slash dotnet slash format on github and uh, at the time of recording we're at version 4.0 uh, if we scroll down you will see that there are some breaking changes in this version so if you've used this before then uh, go check it out and there's a lot of things that you can do with this tool so uh, first we need to install it it's not installed by default because you know then it would download all these global tools that you maybe might not want to use so we need to install it first we'll see that in a second uh, but more importantly here you can see how to use it so you can also get this uh, from the actual command line by doing just slash question mark and you will get this uh, explanation as well uh, but the most basic version is you just do dot net format options workspace so you can point this to a solution file or a project file or just a folder containing um, a bunch of code files so CS and I think even visual basic uh, and it will analyze those for you and you can have this tool either fix it directly or uh, you can just check it and uh, give a warning maybe in your CI pipeline. Uh, so that's very, very cool. And yeah, with the rest of the options here, you can point it to the folder. You can say, okay, I want to only fix the style of a certain severity. Uh, you can include files. You can exclude certain files if that's what you want. Uh, with the check option, you only check and the exit code will uh, say if uh, there are files to be formatted, yes or no. Uh, you can do a report to a JSON file. You can set the verbosity and you can get information about the version. So enough with all of this. Let's just get this install command right here and get that over to our command line. Um, here we have a normal command prompt. You can also do this from PowerShell. Uh, let me paste this in right here. So this will tell your .NET um, runtime. You will have to have the .NET Core runtime installed. Uh, but if you've done some recent development with uh, uh, .NET bits, then you probably have that. And here we're going to say .NET tool install minus G. Uh, so this will install it as a global tool. And this is the identifier of the tool that we're going to install. So if I press enter here, it will download those bits from the internet and boom, we've got this version installed um, and we can now use it. It will tell me that I can use this tool by just doing .NET format. So here it has a hyphen in between, uh, but you can also do it like this. Uh, just make a space. I don't know, for me that goes faster, but it's whatever you're familiar with basically. And if we do slash question mark, you will get the same output uh, with everything that you can do here. Uh, these has some of the deprecated options in here. So for instance, this dry run option, uh, you probably don't want to use that. Now, if we're going to look at some code where I'm going to apply some fixes, I have done some work on this Xamarin Community Toolkit, and I know there is some formatting issues in that code base. So so let's see if we can fix them with this tool. Um, and first, let's just go to .NET 
format and I'm going to type dot. Dot is the uh, shorthand notation for the current folder. So it's going to look at uh, C, users, administrator, desktop, uh, examine community toolkit. Um, and from there, it will automatically uh, recursively go into any other folders it will find. So maybe we go back for a little bit and we check out what's here. So here you see a couple of files that are important for the repository um, and our editor config where all the settings are going to come from. Um, and down here we have some uh, solution files and also some more folders that contain the actual code. So if I say .NET format dot, it will go through all of these files, find the, the code files from here and uh, format those. Uh, you have to specify minus F or uh, with double hyphens and folder. So it will know that the workspace is a folder um, instead of a solution. So what it could also do is just uh, leave that out and say dot uh, SLN and it will go through all the files that are specified in the projects that are in the solution and in those projects it will go through all the code files. So that's something you can do as well but maybe in your solution not all code files are referenced so you can also do it for the uh, complete folders that are in here. And if we do this check, then it will only check it for us. It will give us the output of the files that are uh, supposed to be formatted. And by the inspecting the exit code of the process, uh, we can see if there are actually files that uh, contain formatting errors. So let's run this. And you can see there's a lot of files that, that need some formatting here. So uh, format completed in almost two seconds. And you can see it prints the uh, all the, um, the files and the uh, lines where something is to be formatted. So in this converters gallery view model uh, on uh, line 33, we have to fix white space formatting. So we have some kind of formatting that maybe uh, detects uh, excessive white spaces. And this is, um, yeah, removing that. But it didn't do anything. So if I'm going to repeat this uh, same command, it will come up with the same things again uh, because, you know, it only checks. It doesn't do anything. So if I do echo uh, error level. Uh, so this is the, the exit code. Each process that you run has a certain exit code. If everything went OK, then it will have an exit code of zero. Um, and with different exit codes, you can uh, pass on the status to a next process. And in this case, it will give us exit code two, uh, which doesn't say anything about how many files there are to be formatted, but it will just be an indication that the exit code is not zero. So there is something wrong with the code formatting. This is, for example, something that you can use in the um, in your, your build pipeline. So you can fail the build whenever this process is not uh, zero, uh, but you know there are format errors in your code. But what we can also do is now go back and remove this check thing. And if we run this, we will see the exact same output, uh, but now it will actually change the files. So what we should see is that the uh, exit code is zero. So everything is everything is good now. And if we go into a uh, more graphical tool, like here, the GitHub GUI, uh, you can see that it has changed all these files. And you can see this is probably some new line thing. And here we can see it rearranged our using statements and maybe cleaned up some that we were not using. And also here, uh, these are spaces you can see that here and when we go down it has nicely converted it to uh, tabs as I would uh, like to see them so you can see it fixed all these kinds of things and uh, you can now just make this into a commit push it to your branch and all the things that uh, will be fixed uh, in, in your code formatting so that's something that you can repeat from time to time or maybe something that you can incorporate into your build pipeline create a commit automatically and push that to your branch so you will never have to worry about this again and that's it that's how easy you can use it. You can just format your code. Don't think about it. You can run this automated. I don't know, maybe you can find a script where you do this every time you're going to push a branch, um, or you can create this into something that you integrate into your uh, CI pipeline. You can either fill the build on your style things, um, or you can just notify the user and push a commit on there. Uh, that's totally up to you, but this tool does it all for you. Pretty cool. Now, like, subscribe, do all the things, um, I'd like to see you back for my next video, which will be just as interesting. So until then.